Is there something you're really passionate about and want to share with others, but you keep running into the worldview wall? If I told you, to reduce global warming, we need to eat less meat. As soon as I say those words, it travels to your ears and into your frontal cortex where you process what I'm saying and judge it against the worldview you already have. Then you either say, yeah, that's right, or no, that's wrong, or I don't really know, not interested. But what if you have a truth that's not meant to defeat an opponent, but to find a way forward for everyone? How can you change minds that are already made up? Try storytelling. The reason stories are effective is because they don't communicate with us intellectually. They grab a hold of our brain biologically. I'm going to paraphrase a few elements of story structure and then explain why they're so effective. First, start with a relatable main character. She doesn't have to be the same demographic as the audience. She doesn't even have to be human. Rather, her experiences and the way she reacts to them resonate in our own life. Second, our hero is living her normal life until something happens that presents her with a central problem or conflict and that sends her on a journey. She doesn't want to go on this quest, but she has to. If she doesn't, something bad will happen. Those are the stakes. Next, she meets new people, she travels to new places, she has successes, she has setbacks, but all the while, the tension is building toward a crucial turning point. The climax is the moment of truth, when failure and defeat seem inevitable. She has to somehow find the strength within herself to overcome the central problem and find the solution. And finally, she returns back to where the story began. Only now, everything has changed. Neuroscience says that good stories release two hormones, cortisol and oxytocin. Cortisol is the stress hormone. It makes you anxious and hyper alert because there's a problem. Oxytocin is the hormone of empathy, of love and compassion that makes you feel connected to others. You relate to the main character because you see a lot of your experiences and hers. That releases oxytocin in your brain and makes you feel connected. Then when she's confronted by a scary problem that she has to solve, your cortisol spikes, especially when you realize the stakes. What happens if she fails? As she goes on her journey, you now feel physically connected to her. When she eventually triumphs, you feel a sense of vindication that it's not only her victory, but yours too. Look at any movie that you love or TV show. You can find these elements. Peace builders can use this power. But here's an important secret you need to know. Your stories have to offer truth. Propaganda can toy with people's emotions, but it doesn't last. True impact comes from universal human experience. So if you have a truth, a truth that you really believe would help and benefit your audience in a way that they would appreciate, try storytelling. Way before paper or printing or Instagram, it's the way humans have always communicated. Try it and see.